Hello everyone. Welcome to Celeb Celebration Celebration on a Sunday. I am Ruth Norton with Ruth Stamming Corner. I'm so happy to be joining you guys again. I am going to live from my kitchen again. Um, if you missed my Wednesday video, you will, um, you'll miss the story that um, I have to do my Facebook lives in my kitchen now because of a slip on the ice. I bruised my tailbone and I cannot sit now. So all of my Facebook lives for the foreseeable future are in the kitchen where I can stand at my kitchen counter. So here I am again in my kitchen coming to you live. So the lighting is a little weird in here. It's not my favorite, but I am starting to see improvements in my injury. So I'm hoping maybe on Wednesday um, when I go live, I'll be able to go live in my graft room where my setup is much more ideal for this. So I thank you guys for joining me anyway. I do have a really cute project to share with you. This is what we're going to make today. It is so stinking adorable. I love this little girl. I love this little rainbow. I'm going to show you how to do that. And inside, there's a little surprise inside, um, but I'll show you that in just a minute. So this is by far one of my favorite products, projects that I've made for celebration. And um, man, I just love that little girl. She is so cute. So we're going to go into this a little bit more in just a minute. But before we jump into the project, let me go over everything that's in front of me. I have a whole stack of stuff in front of me that I want to show you guys because there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot going on. Right now we have the All Together promotion. This is an amazing suite of products. There's a stamp set, some dies, paper, and 10 um, brand new Stampin' Blends. These are our neutral, not our neutral, natural tones Stampin' Blends. Um, we're going to use one of these today to color our little, our little girl. Um, but this is a really good selection of products if you haven't had a chance to really look at it make sure you you look at it the paper and the bundle will not carry over the blends will be in the new catalog so we're gonna have the blends for a while but if you want the the paper and the bundle make sure you guys stock up on those now um the blends are really amazing there's a set of 10 blends you get a bunch of them um they're gonna create a variety of skin tones so just fantastic blends all right, we have some new products coming in March, and I am telling you guys this now because you can add these products to your starter kit right now if you wanted to get them. So this is the Waves of the Ocean suite of products. Now the bundle is going to carry over. I'm going to show you all the products. The bundle is going to carry over into the new catalog, but the rest of these products won't. There's amazing designer series paper, there's foil, and there's rhinestones. So the only thing I have right now are the rhinestones. They are beautiful. They are, <clears throat> let me see. There's Coastal Cabana, Night of Navy, Pacific Point. I think that's um, Granny Apple Green, I think. Um, Balmy Blue. There's a lot of beautiful blues and greens in these rhinestones. I'm a sucker for a good rhinestone, so of course I got this. Um, I'm a little bit unsold on the other products. The paper is gorgeous. I think I'm going to have to get the paper. Um, the stamp set I'm not quite sold on yet, but I think it is such a fun stamp set if you are an ocean lover. So make sure to check this out. Now, you cannot buy this now. This will not be available in my online store until March 1st. But if you want this stuff now, you can join my team and you can actually put all of this in your starter kit. So um, great, great time to join my team. You can put all these new products in there. Um, the whole collection is $79.25 with your starter kit you get to choose 125 in product. So you're still left with quite a bit of shopping to do beyond these products that you can put in your starter kit. So keep that in mind. All right, Paper Pumpkin for February has already closed. So if you missed out February's kit, you can still get March's kit. Now March's kit, I haven't had a chance to go through everything about March's kit, but I do know that it's going to be nine cards and we're going to get two stamp sets in this kit. You're going to get the stamp set that goes with the actual Paper Pumpkin kit, the Beyond the Horizon kit, and then they're going to send a additional free stamp set to us as a thank you. March is typically um, like Paper Pumpkin's birthday month, and so we usually get an extra little something something in March. So March's kit is going to be good, two stamp sets, um, and then nine cards, an uh, ink spot, and I think they mentioned the color of the ink spot. I don't think it's listed on here, but... Um, I'll look that up. I'll have it for next time I go live. Now, Paper Pumpkin is going going to have a little bit of a price increase. So I printed up this little chart. So um, starting with the March subscription, 
it's going to go up to $23.50. So if you're getting billed month to month, just be aware there's going to be a little bit of a price increase to $23.50 if you're going month to month. Um, this is still a fantastic deal. Um, normally it's $21, I think. So we're going up just a little bit, but it's still a fantastic deal. For $23, you're still going to get nine cards. You're going to get a stamp set. Still a fantastic deal. If you wanted to do the prepaid subscriptions, those are also going up starting March 1st. Now, if you wanted to save some money, if you do Paper Pumpkin every month and you wanted to save some money, get the um, prepaid subscriptions now. Get them in February. Get them by February 28th, and you're going to save some money. So right now, a three-month prepaid subscription, you can get for $63. If you wait until March, it's going to go up to $67.50. And the same with the six-month. Six-month right now is $114. If you wait till March, it's going to be $122.50. So if you know you're going to be getting Paper Pumpkin for the long foreseeable future, consider getting a prepaid subscription now because you're going to save some money in the long run if you want to avoid this price increase now. So something to think about. And then if you purchase them in February, not only are you going to save a little bit of money, but you're also going to get celebration benefits when you purchase a 3, 6, or 12 month. So head to my online store. You can shop those Paper Pumpkin subscriptions prepaid subscriptions now in my online store, earn those celebration products with it. Um, and then just be aware, starting with the March billing, the price will go up a little bit. All right, um, let me talk about celebration in just a minute. All right, guys, I wanted to show you guys this. This is a brand new kit in the online store. I got this. It's so big. Let me see if I can open it. Um, I got this yesterday. This is the, oh, I just hit my camera with that box. Um, this is the Celebrate Today magnet board. I haven't completely put it together. I've kind of, sort of, kind of put some things together. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, you're going to get this amazing magnet board. And there's actually two sheets of paper, double-sided, that you can choose from to put in your board. I went with this one. Let me move this box. It is in the way. This is a big magnet board, too. It's like 12 by 12. So you're going to get... I'll move that whole box. Hold on. <clears throat> it's a really good size. I can't even fit it on the camera. It's so huge. It's so good. You're gonna get two pieces of double-sided paper. I went with this kind of the greenish one. This one's really good too. I like this one. But um, one side is like grays or black, so it can go with any color palette in your house. And then the other, you have two choices of some colored ones. So it's really fun. Ombre pink one or this one. I love this one. So that's the one I chose. Um, the kit is $25. There's no stamping in this kit, but it does come with these little pockets. You get to make these little pockets. It comes with a roll of tear and tape to make the little pockets. You can see these little pockets. Aren't they cute? And then you hang them on here. You can stick receipts or notes or whatever you want in there. There are a bunch of stickers. These come in multiple languages too, so they make great gifts. There are a bunch of stickers so you can decorate your, your little pockets. And then it comes with a bunch of little cards. Let me see if I can pull these out. There's a bunch of little cards like this one has like a calendar. This one is like a list page. There are so many like little recipe ones. So cute lists. So there's so many and then you can just, you know, fill them out as you want. Stick them on your board. Keep yourself organized. You can stick a few in the little pockets. This is a fantastic kit. I was playing with it a little bit last night and even my husband was like that's a really cool kit that's really cool now I love this so much I've bought multiples of them <laughs> I think it's so great but I do think it's going to sell out quickly so don't wait if this is um a kit that you might be interested in if you think you might want this don't wait you need to get it now I think this one will sell out it is such a good kit you can see how they've kind of decorated those pockets with the stickers um and they've put some calendar stuff it's so good. I love this one. I've got multiple ones. My daughter loved it. I think she's probably going to end up with one. Uh, but don't miss out on this kit. It's so good. This makes a great gift, too. There's no stamping on this. So this is a great home decor project. Hold on, I'm going to move this. I'm going to run across the kitchen and put it away. Um, it's a great home decor project. So it's fantastic. Don't, don't miss out on that kit. I think it's going to sell out. It's in the online store in the kits collection page. Um, it's fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it. So <laughs> get it for everybody you know. All right, today we are focusing on this one, the Catching Butterfly stamp set. Celebration is almost over. After today, we only have two weeks left of Celebration, cel celebration, celebration Facebook Lives. Um, so if you haven't gotten all of your Celebration products, make sure you shop my online store, get those products 
before the end of the month. The month is quickly leaving us. Now I talked a little bit about joining. It's a great time to join. You pay $99, you get to choose 125 in product. You can put brand new products in there that I showed you. Um, but you get to choose 125 in product, any products you want. And then you only pay $99. And then during celebration, you get to choose two free stamp sets. So choose those expensive stamp sets that have been on your wish list. All right, this is what we're gonna make today. I love this project. We're going to use blending brushes to make this beautiful little rainbow that she's kind of pulling along with her. And then inside, I can't wait to show you guys what's inside. Inside, there's some little seed packets for anybody you know who has a little green thumb. Now this one I made like a double packet. So you can fit, there's two pockets. You can fit two packages of seeds. The one we're going to make today, I'm going to make a one pocket one. So it's a little bit more economical to, to give. These were, um, these little seed packets were two bucks each. So, um, I got mine at Target, and actually I don't even know if they were $2. They might have been on sale. I didn't even look at the receipt. I <laughs> just grabbed some seeds because they were cute. Um, but we're going to make it a one pocket for the next one. And so if you were giving, if you were making a bunch of these, it could be a little bit more economical for you to do. But I love this cute little, this little, um, it's like a card, but there's a gift inside. So it's super cute. So we're going to make this. So we're actually going to start with the, with the little pocket piece. <clears throat> now normally when we do scoring, I pull out my scoreboard, but today we're gonna use my um, paper trimmer and I didn't even cut down my paper. So we're gonna, we're gonna do everything. I'm gonna do it all on camera. All right, one more thing. If you need to shop my online store, this is February's host code. Make sure you shop using that host code. All orders will receive a PDF with three exclusive projects. Orders over $50 will receive a make and take kit in the mail to coordinate with those projects. All right, I'm gonna extend my arm because we're cutting a little bit longer. We're gonna cut this at seven and a quarter um, by eight. So we're just taking off half an inch on this eight and a half inch side. So save these pieces, use them for scraps. Don't get rid of those. Um, and then we're gonna do some scoring. I'm gonna go ahead and fold my arm back in to do some scoring. We're also gonna do some cutting, which is why I'm just doing all my scoring and cutting on my paper trimmer because it's just easier to do it all in one. All right, so on the short side, this is a seven and a quarter inch side. We're gonna score this at two inches. So use your scoring blade. The light gray one is the scoring blade. On the eight inch side, we're gonna score this in half at four. So we're gonna score that. And that's all the scoring. So let me push this aside real quick. Let me get out my bone folder. And we're going to just fold these lines in a nice burnish. So this is pretty much how our pocket's gonna go. It's gonna go like this, but we need to take out some of this bulk right here. Um, so, hi Kay, so I saw the question, how's the tailbone doing? I'm, it's still, <laughs> I'm still standing all the time. We're still in my kitchen. Um, I am starting to see a little bit of improvement though, so I'm hoping by Wednesday I can be back in my regular setup, but thanks for asking. All right, so we have our, our two inch score line up here. We're gonna fold this in half along that four inch score line with that two inch up here. And I'm going to line up this the score line right where it meets in that corner. So the score line's right here. So right in that corner, I'm going to line that up in my paper trimmer gutter. And then I'm going to pivot this so that this corner is right on that one inch mark. Okay, so I hope you guys can see that. So the corner's on the one inch mark. The score line's right in that little gutter in the groove. And then we're just going to cut that. So we're going to cut out this perfect little triangle <clears throat> move the paper trimmer out of the way we don't need that anymore and then what you're well we will need it in a second but then when you're left with if you wanted to make the two pocket one this is the this is what you would do okay but we're actually going to make it a one pocket one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this back in at that two inch line where we scored and i'm just going to cut off one of these right up to that little cut there okay so we're just going to cut off that one let me grab my scissors and just finish that I didn't go all the way across there we go so if you wanted to do it a one pocket like we're going to do today that's what you would do now if you wanted to do the two pocket you wouldn't cut it you would just leave it but we're going to make it a one pocket and I am going to let's see where did I put my because I have to do this in the kitchen I have to bring stuff in here and then I lose where I put stuff <laughs> I'm just going to use a little stapler and just staple that closed. Um, so no glue. You can use a little line of adhesive if you want, but I, the stapler I think is just easy. And then just grab your seeds, whichever one you want, doesn't matter I guess, 
and stick that in and you have your little seed pocket isn't that cute i love it so cute all right <clears throat> move my trash out of the way this is actually going to get adhered down to a piece of just jade that is five and a half by four and a quarter we're going to adhere that down but before we do we're going to add some ribbon if i can find my ribbon this is the just jade um, gingham ribbon and this is in the flowers for every season combo and I'm going to tie it right around where that pocket is we're just going to tie a little bow make sure you get plenty of ribbon because if your recipient wants to untie this I'm going to do it right on the edge too but if your recipient wants to untie it you need to give them plenty of ribbon to to open it and close it and so be generous with your ribbon when you're giving this as a gift I'm going to move that over all the way to the edge so that we have room for our, our little cardstock stamped piece. All right, there we go. Perfect. And now we're just going to glue this on, do some strong adhesive. I'm just using Stampin' Seal. Lots of adhesive. This goes right on. So it's, this is just like a card. So you can actually mail this because it has the little seeds in it. It's a little bit thicker, especially if you do the, the two pockets. It's pretty thick, so you might need extra postage, but you can mail this. So, super cute, right? Okay, we're gonna come back to the rest of this, to this in just a minute, so we're gonna set that aside. Let's do our stamping. All right, <clears throat> now normally I try to do some prep work. I didn't have time to do any prep work this week, so we're gonna be coloring and fussy cutting all at the same time. <laughs> so, bear with me guys, this could get long. All right, now I'm gonna stamp my images, and I'm using Again, the Catching Butterfly Celebration Stamp Set. We're using this little girl, and then we're going to use this greeting that says Celebrate Every Beautiful Thing. And I am just using my Stamparatus because when I prepped this, um, all my blocks were packed for my class. So I said, well, we'll just do it on the Stamparatus. <laughs> so I'm stamping both of them. They're both going to get cut out. I probably could have conserved paper a little bit more. And look, we're going to be cutting that out. <laughs> and it's right in the middle. Oh, well. I'll use those other scraps. All right, so let's set this aside. I love my Stamparatus. Fantastic tool. All right, we're going to do coloring before we cut her out. Let me bring this one back in so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to start with her little dress. I'm going to use Fresh Freesia for her dress. So I'm going to open up both my markers, dark and light. I'm going to start with my dark. And along the bottom and along all these pleats, I'm going to go with my dark. Now I have learned, I think I mentioned this on Wednesday too, I am not a good stand-up colorer. So I've also learned I'm not a good stand-up fussy cutter, so I really should have prepped this a little bit better. Um, along her neck, we're gonna do a little dark too. I'm going with the light and just um, kind of fill it in. Not do a too much blending. This is a very small image, so you don't need to go too, too heavy-handed with the blending. And just her little sleeve, it's so tiny. All right, if you wanted to go back in, add a little bit more dark along those pleats, you can. All right, that's it, fresh freesia dress, so pretty. And then this one, um, I, so I used the natural toned lens out on her. I think I used 600, I feel like that's one I used, The was the 600 one. And then I used cinnamon cider for her hair. This time we're gonna go with the 800 one. For her skin, we're going to give her a little bit lighter skin, and we're going to make her blonde. Now, the Natural Tones blends, you can use them together. I think they work pretty well on their own. So um, when you want to blend them, you just keep going over. If you want a darker spot, you would just go over the same place. And I'll show you that in just a minute. I'm just covering her whole face. Go around her hair carefully. I'm covering her whole face. So you watch her eyes too. You don't want to color on her eyes. Now I want it to be a little bit darker under her hair. So I'm just going to go over that part again. And then along her chin here, that's going to be just be a little bit darker. Okay. Let's give her a little bit of rosy cheeks. I'm using Flirty Flamingo for this. Just some little rosy cheeks on her. And then I'm going to use Daffodil Delight for her hair. So I'm going to color this time. <clears throat> we're not going to do a lot of blending on her. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to go over all of her hair with the light Daffodil Delight. And my Daffodil Delight markers need to be replaced. I have more coming, actually. So 
my my light daffodil delight it's on its way out so she's gonna be very light blonde kind of like my daughter all right so we're gonna color all of her this could actually be my daughter <laughs> this looks just like her um with the light and then i'm just gonna go in with the dark and add just a little bit of highlights just, and we're not going to really blend any of this out. We're just adding some darker shades all over her. Isn't that cute? Isn't she cute? I love her. She's so cute. All right. We're going to get our scissors. And we're going to fussy cut. All right. I really should have used a smaller piece of paper. We're going to cut out this greeting too. And I'm actually going to cut out the words individually. So we can do that first because that's easy. That's easy fussy cutting. I'm just going to go through, cut apart each word. Now, if you didn't want to do this, because I'm we're stamping it, I just wanted them to be a little more spread out. You could actually just stamp the greeting right on your paper, on your, but um, on your card, if you didn't want to go to all the trouble of fussy cutting. But I wanted my greeting a little bit more separated. So, plus I always got to be a little extra, right? All right, let me try to cut these out quickly. So what else is going on? So my husband is taking my son driving. So we have the Super Bowl today. Kids have requested that I make nachos. So we're having nachos today. Is anybody else having some yummy Super Bowl snacks? Or who, are you watching the Super Bowl? Anybody? I don't know. I'm, I have no... I don't care who wins this one. I'm just glad that it's some new teams. Teams we haven't seen in a while in the Super Bowl. And I'm going to leave it at that. I don't really care. I do like Super Bowl food and commercials. All right, for my little girl, I'm just going to go around, leave a little bit of a white border around her. And hopefully I can talk and fussy cut at the same time. I'm telling you guys I'm not a good stand-up fussy cutter. What I like to do when I fussy cut, especially if I have a lot to fussy cut, I like to stamp everything. And then I'll sit on the couch and put on a movie or a show that I like, and I'll just fussy cut. And I love that. It's so relaxing. <clears throat> All right, carefully around her ears and her hair. Now, I'm not going to go, like, too detailed. And you'll see that I'm cutting off the net. So she's holding a little net there. I just cut that right off. We don't need that. We don't need the net. If you wanted it, you could leave it on it will kind of hang off a little bit you'd have to move her over a little bit but um, i think that without the net she just looks like a super fun little girl running around All right when you're fussy cutting make sure you're turning your paper not your scissors you're gonna get a cleaner fussy cut and i'm not gonna go around those little those little curls in her hair i'm just gonna cut those off all right, in here, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go as detailed as I did on my other one. Actually, no, I probably will because I wanna be able to see her, the rainbow behind her hand. So we'll go back. All right, turn your paper. Let me just go around her foot right here. These, her little feet remind me of Barbie feet. <laughs> They're so tiny and they have that same little arch in them that Barbie has. My daughter's room right now is littered with Barbies. They're everywhere. <clears throat> All right, there's our cute little girl. Isn't she adorable? I just love her. She's so cute. All right, so we have our items stamped and fussy cut. So I'm going to set those off to the side and we're going to work on this little rainbow background now. So let me move this over, move my scissors. I'm going to pull in some grid paper because this is going to get messy. And I have a piece of white that is, I think this is three and seven eighths by one and, or five and one eighths. And let's see, I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive just to hold this down. I don't want this to, to move around while we're using our Stampin' Blends. Just a little paper to hold it down, a little adhesive. And then, let me move all my stuff. I have a piece of just regular printer paper. That's all this is. And I'm just going to, Tear it. I'm going to tear it a couple of times. And every time, so every time you do this, you're going to get a little bit of different tears, but we're going to use these as our masks. So let me, oh no, I forgot one of my ink pads. Oh no. I may have to run and get it. My craft room is not far. 
my daughter has been told not to come out of her room, so <laughs> otherwise I would run and get her. Um, okay, let me run and get it. I will be quick. Okay, I am back. All right, so we have Just Jade, Pale Papaya, Polished Pink, no, yeah, Polished Pink, and Fresh Freesia. Okay, let me move these up a little bit. We're actually going to start with our grass, which is the Just Jade. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that one of those torn pieces. Let me move this up just a little bit so you guys can see more what I'm doing. So I'm going to put this just along the bottom, kind of where I want my grass to be. And I'm going to just use some tape and hold it down. You can use post-it tape. I'm just using some scotch tape just to hold it down. Grab your blending brush. And we're just going to... Don't move. And I'm just going to kind of blend up. I want the bottom to be darker for the grass. And with blending brushes... You want to use a light hand it's easy to add a lot of color but once that color is added you can't take it away so start light you can always add more all right let's take this off Get a beautiful little grassy background okay so i'm going to put that aside we might come back to the just jade so i'm going to leave it open i'm going to put it off to the side all right we're going to go in with our fresh freesia now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of figure out where i want my rainbow to go and I'm gonna put another piece so you want this all the way up to the corner just like that so I'm gonna put another piece of that torn printer paper and then we're just gonna tape it down just like that a little tape over here just so it doesn't move so nothing moves now with this one I actually masked off each um, layer there so it there's a bit of a harsher line there I didn't I didn't love that so this time I'm only gonna mask off the entire rainbow and then we'll just blend the colors into each other so I'm gonna start with fresh freesia and we're gonna do the colors in a little bit different order too so I'm going to start on the edge oh we need to cover this side up so we don't get it onto the grass just like that okay so we're gonna start on the edge and we're gonna do our fresh freesia Oh, pretty I love the blending brushes I knew that I would when I saw them but I didn't know how much I would love them so but I love them I use them a ton okay I want the rainbow to be a little bit darker in the back and it gets lighter towards her okay I'm gonna move into my polished pink now And we're going to kind of do the middle section. I'm going to overlap the purple just a little bit. And do the middle section here. So you can see with this one, I went Fresh Freesia, Pale Papaya, and then Polished Pink. The Fresh Freesia and the Pale Papaya, when they mix together, they kind of make like a muddy color. So I want to avoid them touching. So then we're going to put the Polished Pink in the middle this time. All right. Pale Papaya for the top. And I think this will still look just so pretty. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty already. We haven't done anything. Okay. A little bit more of the pale papaya. We're going to go back and blend all of them together. So you don't have to have fancy masks. You can create your own. You can create your own masks with um, dyes too. So you can actually, you know, die cut a shape and then use it as a mask. All right. Oh, so pretty. All right. <clears throat> Let's take this piece off. Now, if we've missed any places with the grass, that's where we're going to go back in with our Just Jade. Because our mask covered up a little bit more, so we're going to just go in. I'm not going to use any masks. I'm just going to kind of go in with the Just Jade and fill in any little areas just like that. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. All right. Let's close up all our ink pads before we make a mess. Close all of them up. Now I do want to mention Just Jade is one of the end colors that's going to be leaving this year. So if you love Just Jade, if that's one of your colors, 
Make sure you stock up on the the ink pad, the reinker, markers, paper, all of that. That's gonna be leaving soon. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. I'm gonna actually need to leave this out. We're gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna use my Winka Stella, and I'm just gonna add some splatter. So I'm gonna use the brush tip and the end, and I'm just going to splatter some glitter on there. This is probably not gonna show up real well on the camera, but in real life, there's so much like glitter splatter. It's so pretty. All right. So that is our little inky piece. Move that out of the way. And now we're ready to add on all of our stamped pieces. So we're gonna add some dimensionals to our little girl. Put two on her head. And one down here on her dress. Peel off all those backings. And she's gonna go right at the edge of the rainbow here, kind of like she's pulling it along. So cute. I actually love this color combination like that. That is gorgeous. All right, <clears throat> a little bit of liquid glue. You can also use glue dots. And we're gonna start backwards with our greetings. So we're gonna start with Thing. So just a little bit of glue, liquid glue. A little goes a long way. If it works, here it goes. Okay, you can also use little tweezers. This is a very tiny little greeting. And my hands are all inky too, so I hope I don't get fingerprints. Okay, beautiful goes next. Celebrate every beautiful thing. By starting on the bottom, that kind of ensures that you don't get too close to her. You can get spacing a little bit better. You want to keep them, you don't have to put them super close, but you want to just make sure that you leave room for all four words. Celebrate every beautiful thing. So this little girl's so cute. So I hope that I've kind of sold some of you on this stamp set. What do you think? Now there's a ton of different ways you can make this little seed pouch. Of course, there's so many flower stamp sets you can use. There's a ton. All right, final touches. Actually, let's adhere this to our card first. Let's flip this over. We're gonna stick some glue. Stick this to our little card pouch before we put on all of our accessories because those will need a couple minutes to dry. This will just leave a tiny bit of a border. So go real close on that border. Make sure that knot doesn't interfere. Isn't it pretty? You could totally leave it like this. It's so pretty. But we're going to add a few more things, of course. So I have these brushed brass butterflies. That is hard to say. And I'm going to add three of these. These are in the mini catalog. They're one of my favorite accessories. I love them. So we're going to add three of those. And then, running along with her, we're going to add some of these loose flowers. These are the same exact colors we use. We have fresh freesia, pale papaya, and polished pink. We're gonna add a few of those. So I think I added five of these. And I'm gonna kind of overlap those same colors. So five little dots of the Tombow. And let's see, I got a little pale papaya one. Get a fresh freesia one. Let's see, um, what color is that? Polished pink. Use your take your pick tool to set them down. Mm. Let's see, let's do another fresh freesia. Over here, I just want a little one. These flowers are so cute. They're some of my favorites and we'll do a big pale papaya one right there. So cute. I love that she's dragging those flowers and the rainbow. So cute. So we're gonna set this one aside to dry, but this is um, our single seed holder. So you'll have plenty of room to write a message in there. And then this is our double one. So you can make whichever one you want. If you have a friend that's a big gardener, maybe you want to give them the double one. Otherwise, you have the little single one. Aren't they cute? And the little girls look so different. But they're both so adorable, aren't they? And the rainbows are a little different, but still gorgeous. Anyway, I love it. I hope you guys love it too. If you are watching this on Facebook, please share this with your Facebook friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will be back on Wednesday. Um, probably around 9 a.m. in my business group and I have a really cute project to share on Wednesday. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.